in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1, 1. The easiest thing to do in reading the Bible, the most complicated thing we could do in studying the Bible, the most absurd thing that you've ever heard about the Word of God, is to add to or take from what the Bible says. The seven minute Bible is simply that. Seven minutes we're going to read the Word of God, talk about the Word of God, let the Word of God speak for itself, and let God by His Spirit lead you to understand the Bible as it is written. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That's all the Bible says. The Bible doesn't say more than that in this verse. The Bible doesn't say less than that in this verse. The greatest problem wise men have is to add to the scripture. I know for myself, because I've studied the scripture often and I've read it through many times, I will look at one verse and often read past what stated obviously there for anyone else to read. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning. The heaven and the earth God created in the beginning. I sometimes reverse the order in order to look at what it says. But one of the things that we should never do is we should never add to the scriptures. Wise men do that a lot. Biblical theologians will do that regularly. Pastors of themselves being teachers of the Word of God will do the same thing by not just commentary, but also by adding personal opinion. The Bible warns us about adding to or taking from what he has revealed. Some people say that it's okay to do that because we've added in the Bible in order to come up with what we have for the Bible. I'll let people argue and debate those things on their own. But what we'll do in the seven minute Bible, because we only have seven minutes, is to just accept what God says about his word. In the beginning, God created the heaven. In the beginning, God created the earth. Who created the heaven? God. Who created the earth? God. When did he do it? In the beginning, God created. When did God create? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. A lot of times we do things and say things without thinking through what it says, as opposed to what we change to make it say what we think it says. Always answer a question you have about the Word of God with the Word of God. The Bible is the Bible. Let your yes be yes, let your no be no. In the beginning, that's what we're talking about. God is who we're talking about. What God did is what he has done in the beginning. And what he did was he created the heaven and the earth. This verse says nothing more or nothing less than that simplicity, that very intimate, very real, very knowledgeable without there being any Greek or Hebrew or any other thing added to. In simple, plain English, you can't get more straightforward or more easy to understand than simply saying to anyone at any place in time, whether they believe in God or not, doesn't matter. It's irrelevant to the one statement that God has made and that we have here in the Bible. And the Bible says very clearly in Genesis 1.1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Nothing more, nothing less. Always focus in on what the Bible says and focus in as the Spirit of God teaches you that in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, that all of your answers should be according to the Word of God. If it's in the Word of God, as the Spirit of God has given you the Word of God, then that Word of God, by the Spirit of God, to the people of God, will become true to you. 
It can't be truth if you change the words. It won't be truth if you add interpretation. If you take from or subtract from the Word of God, you will have less than what the Spirit of God wants to reveal to you. So, in our seven-minute Bible, as you understand the Word of God, it is very clear in Genesis 1-1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That is the Word of God today.